Hi, I'm Mark Dice, and welcome to an all-new Let's Play. Let's see what this is. Victor? Jesus. They got bought by Sony, didn't they? Ugh, boxing. Ugh, I need to look up all the boxing games and get rid of them. I forgot that there's, like, a whole bunch of boxing UFC games, and for the most part, they're all going to be the same thing. I imagine this is going to be pretty dreadful. He has a very square head. He has a very, like, skull overly sculpted face. Also, you really can't have a nose that pointy if you're in boxing, let's be serious. Or at least not for long. I mean, unless you're a really good boxer, but... Julio Sanchez. Gabriela, or Gabrielle Espinosa. Sergio Casanova. Mabutu Dr. Death. Well then... Greta Halbrocken, Bruno Smith, Alex Foster, Damian Pitney. Oh, I kind of want to play this guy just for the hilarity of how ridiculous he looks. And then all the unlockables, which screw that. Which, there's like three Spanish boxers right at the beginning. Spanish, Hispanic, I don't know. I mean, he's obviously Hispanic. She probably is too. But, I mean, she could be Spanish. You, you don't know. But it's weird to have three of them right from the start, which makes me assume that this game was either made in South America, Mexico, or it was made in Spain. Uh, this one, Mobutu Dr. Death, is... That's a thing. But we're gonna go for Creep. Creep dude who's like 50-year-old goth guy. Oh, let's do some training. Just exactly what I want to do. It's probably gonna be rapidly button pressing for like speed bags... Pressing multiple buttons to do, like, stamina, squat thrusts. Oh, wow, look at my guy. Uh, okay, that's a punch. That is the most ridiculous thing. All right, let's let's just go to a regular boxing match and see how that that goes. Bye, Snake. So far, this this game is I don't even know. Spike Raffello. Okay. Got it. Ladies and gentlemen, in the red corner, from France, Spike Raffello! In the blue sure. corner, from the USA, Damien Hinty! Uh, he's more like UK. He's got that skinny inbred look. Stay center of the rings. Good. Now pace it. This is This is awful. Stuck in. Keep that rhythm. Get that guard up. Get stuck in. Get that guard up. Okay. Don't cut that eye. Watch it. Okay, those are taunts. Get that guard up. Get 
Get stuck in. Oh my god. Watch for that hook. Get stuck in. This guy has like so much longer range. Come on, we can win this one. Keep that rhythm. Watch for that hook. Don't cut that eye. Watch it. Get that guard up. <laughs> Keep that rhythm. Oh man, cheesing you. Oh man. Maximum cheese. Did you feel that cheese? No, just stay down. I don't really want to fight you anymore. Stay center of the ring. Oh. Yeah, that's what you do. You get in close, and then you just spam it. Yeah, I don't really... Uh, the judges gave me tens. I did knock him out in the first round. Round two. Fight! Stay center of the ring! Get stuck in! Get that guard up! Did you just punch me in the knee? There we go. He's not cooked yet! Go for his head! Forget the ribs! Don't cut that eye! Watch it! This is my ultimate guard technique. Doesn't work very well. Go for his head! Forget the ribs! Watch for that hook! Oh, come on. I totally had him. Dude, you've already been knocked out once. It's a walk in the park, kid! Go for his head! Forget the ribs! My sister boxes better than that! Keep that rhythm! Well, then she should be in here doing it. Don't cut that eye! Watch it! Go for his head! Forget the ribs! Don't cut that eye! Watch it! Get that guard up! Weave! Weave! Get that guard up! Last ten seconds! Do it now! Dude, I've already knocked you out. Just give up. This guy is fighting like super hard for someone who was already knocked out. Normally, once you get knocked out, that's that's pretty much it. You've pretty much lost. Like once you get knocked down, just give up. Like, stop. Round three. That's the one thing about boxing games. I mean, if you get knocked the fuck out, don't cut that eye. Watch it. You're no. Go for his head. Forget the ribs. It's just okay. Now he's like juking like crazy. Like this is supposed to be the first round. Like or first battle go for his head forget the ribs let's just regenerate my my stamina I mean I kind of like the stamina meter two minutes to go you can take him down get that guard up the guy yelling is so annoying I hate how fast his health regenerates. Now like, pace it, okay? Watch for that hook. Get that guard up. Watch for that hook. That's terrible. Get that guard up. Keep that rhythm. Thirty seconds to go. Make it or break it. You can't guard that much. Get that guard up. Go. He's trying to do that spin around punch thing, but he rarely does it. Yeah, fuck these judges. I already knocked him out. Like, dude should be like half stumbling, and also not being able to do anything when they guard. Just an infinite guard. Is kind of ridiculous.
I don't really want to... Final round, really. I'm going to lose by points. Because this guy is fucking combo Get monster. Stuck in. Get stuck in! Go for his head! Forget the ribs! My sister box is better than that! Go for his head! Forget the ribs! Get that guard up! Go for his head! And I like how it's a sneak ribs. punch, but he can still hit it. Like, still block it. Because this guy just fucking guards. That's like all he does. Like, seriously? Like, what's the point of... Go for his head! Forget the ribs! Like, the point of having this sneak punch... Go for his head! Forget the ribs! If he, like, see, there it, he didn't even connect. It's a walk in the park, kid! Get that and also, he punches faster than I do. Is better than that. And now he's just like bitch hitting. They definitely put the Get difficulty up guard way guard too up. high for the first round. Get that guard up. Cause that was like for a boxing game, normally they, they throw you like two or three gimmies. Look at that, 93 miss punches. Out of me trying to do like up downs and in general hitting him. But him, 48 hits because he can fucking swing faster than me, has a wider range, blocks everything. Like, seriously, is this on like expert mode? And or do I just have like the, the worst boxer? So he's gonna win by points. First off, to come out from a knockdown and be swinging like just as fast as he was is next to impossible. Very few people can get knocked down and do that. Also, bullshit with the judges, man. They were either like zero or 10. There's probably like you're supposed to go through this whole training thing to get extra stuff. And also there's no, let me see something. Is there a way to like back out? I just, I just want to see something for humor. So... Has the guy even fought here? Okay, first off, he's 6'3". So, an average human, their arm length is about the same as they are high. Uh, if you include shoulders and everything else. So you assume if he's 6'3", that's about two foot shoulder range. Uh, with how skinny and like slim his shoulders are, technically it would only probably be like a foot and a half. So that means all the rest, which would be about two feet of range if he's 6'3". The other guy was nowhere near 6'3", so there's no way he had that kind of range. But I am guessing that, because like range obviously has a factor, but they're not putting it in here. Like, uh, take for example, Fight Night. One of the Fight Nights actually took into account how long your arms were versus your guard and things like that. So if you were taller, or if you made your character really tall, you have absurd range. So it's, it's really stupid that, that the guy obviously, first off, they're not even close in weight class. Like, he's, if he's 154, that means, what, he's welterweight? Yeah, because I think it's, what, like 250 plus is heavyweight? Something like that. I don't remember off the top of my head the exact, and then there's featherweight. So, I mean, he's either, I mean, assuming 154, he's probably low end of welterweight. So, the other guy was clearly heavyweight. And, like, these guys, like... Maybe it's 200? I don't remember. There's a certain, like, proportion that you have to be to be considered a heavyweight. Like, he's definitely a heavyweight. 
but with all these, like, her, she's probably in the upper edge of, like, a featherweight. And so is he. So it's it's not even like you have one class of boxing, it's just kind of all over the place. But either way, this game is generic garbage. Uh, not very good boxing game, and wow, fuck that difficulty. And it's not like you have many options. I mean, you literally have three buttons you can press. And the other one is like a, an alternative guard. So, like a, a parry, juke kind of guard. But even that, when it worked, the guy would just literally like snap right back and just hit me right after I did it. So, unless you have to like counter him like six or seven times, but still not very good. And obviously it's made by people who've never actually watched boxing or done any boxing. So, there's that. But I'll see you in the next one. Hi, I'm Mark Dice, and welcome to an all-new Let's Play. Let's see what this is. Hopefully we can start getting interesting stuff, because it seems like all I've been getting is kind of junk. I mean, Bust and Move 4 is the only thing that's not really junk, but... I mean, you've seen one map of it, it's pretty much going to all be the same. Don't expect miracles. Also, I looked it up. There are a lot of different weight classes. Featherweight... Um, light heavyweight, like all of these crazy. There was groups. a time of great madness not so long ago, when planet fought planet in a deadly struggle for galactic supremacy. Like some sort of Star On Wars. Battlefield that lay between them, the Zoltex and Kratons, Mandalas and Pillabies battled for decades. I want to be a Pillaby. Fathers and grandfathers had done before them. It's the Hufflepuff of space. After a century of destruction, one of the great Kraton leaders challenged his opponents to a single tournament of nerves and speed. Winner take all. Today, the universe has changed, but the game remains. Two players, one Plasmor, no mercy. Ball Blazer! Okay. What is this? The, first of all, the name is terrible. Ball Blazer. And do you really need a background story? I mean, essentially this looks like, uh... Oh, man. I don't know why I'm blanking on it. Um, the RC Kart Soccer Game. Whatever it is. I can never remember its name. I'm going to look it up, because it's going to bother me. I don't know if you can see that. I need to move my Google over there. And by Google, I mean Chrome. Um, Rocket League. Rocket League does not sound like the game it would be. Also, I don't know if you could actually see my page. I'll have to see it. Well, anyway, I'm just going to leave that up. One block is needed. Ugh. Let me do this. See, can I make a new one? Okay, there we go. Now let's see. Oh, okay. Well, I can just skip it. Well, either way, I put in a new memory card because for some reason it says it's full. But technically, it's a bottomless memory card. I guess because some games couldn't read, like the... Because uh, I had one memory card for my PlayStation that was... 
like a, it was crazy. It came with a disc, and then you boot it up, and it actually had like 10 layers of memory cards or something like that, but it was really great. Um, yeah, because it had freaking everything on it. Okay, no, I, I want to... I know, I don't want the demo. Stop it. But the problem is it didn't work with all games. So, there was that. Yeah, I literally think this is going to be Rocket League, but with weird spaceships. Let's let's see if there's any any story. Whoa, that was a close one, Moosh. When a stray plasmorph gets loose out here, oh boy, anything can happen. You said it, Slan. I remember once when I was Ugh. up against Zarta four years ago. And the excitement here today is electrifying. Just look at the Amphibian contingent over in Corner 5. They've even painted their horns green. There's nothing like a fan who's not afraid to show his colors. You can't buy okay. respect like that, Slan. This, not anymore. This is really can. uninteresting and annoying. Think the old arena can handle the new foils? That's a good question, Moosh. The power behind these rotos is nothing to sneeze at. Oh, my noses are running already. That's gross, Moosh. And here well, they come. That's the a bug. First roto foil has entered the arena. And what an entrance! Only Zero can put on a show like this, Slan. I'd say that foiled at least three Squintex off the ground. You know, I think you're right, Moosh. And just look at the gleam off that third fender. It's gotta be Cerulean. You mean look at the gleam off of the dad ass. casts a poor field like pure Cerulean. Stop Here just making up sci-fi sounding words. All the way from his hometown of Redshaw. He's brought in the family, I guess. That's right, Slam. Brought in the family. A little hard of hearing, so they rigged her up with a special ride, the Buzz Tap, that lets her actually feel the plasmorb in motion. Oh, oh, Titus is on the ramp. Hard to miss that signature part. Are you really going to go through everybody? Borg has just rammed Titus. Unbelievable. Guess he didn't want to wait, huh? There goes Titus in hot pursuit. You know what they say. You can lead a cyborg to water, but you can't keep him from being criminally insane! <laughs> Wouldn't okay. have it any other way, Slan! That wasn't funny. Like, I get what they're going for, but not funny. It's like a Futurama joke that's not funny, which doesn't really happen. I hear you, Slan. Grumley comes from a long heritage of popular tournament amphibians. Both parents were blazers in 435 and 436. Oh, now I could really give a shit less about any of the backstory of any of these characters. They all look stupid. Also, why do they have like little pedestals? Are these like Skylanders? He's just got to keep his eye on the plasmorm, Slan. You need quick reflexes when you're out there on the grid. Never know where the ball's going to end up after a power launch. Right behind Torque is the new... Is his name Torque? Check out those jets. This farm boy was knee deep in plasmorph by the time he turned six years old. Cinderella story, uh, man. I'm like literally falling asleep. This is so boring. Like how, like how many more? Are you going to introduce like 50 people in this stupid cutscene? Crowd sounds like water in PS4 games. This is it. A boiler's dream come true. Everything you've worked for, dream for. It's like Master Chief butt plug. Just a few seconds on the plasmorph pedestal. As someone's furiously searching Google for that now. Like, please, please. The moment you've all been waiting for. The Ball Blazer Champions Master Blazer Tournament. Blazer, start your engine. Okay. I'm really hyped to start my engine. 
can play as uh, Chaz Handel. Oh, Zach. Wow, what a boring name. Grumly. It's like Chunly, but green and grummy. Zura. That's the most generic alien name ever. Krix. Titus. Catman. Scree. Scree! Borgus. Wow. Let's try not to get sued. Or Torque. They're all pretty shit. I'll go for Dragon Man. Because in my heart of hearts, I am a dragon. A Dragon Man. Yeah, I literally think this is going to be Rocket League. By the way, I'm going to say it now. I hate announcers. I hate sports. Mostly for the announcers. The rest of it is because they're boring as fuck. And it's like a repetitive cycle of stupid. But... Welcome to Ball Blazer. Like, I would... Uh, how do I go? There's, there's go. No... Uh... How, how does he... Okay, there we go. Yeah, well, I didn't even know the controls because you guys just threw me into it. And it's really one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, well, this is, like, the easiest version of Rocket League. Oh, that was... I Replays are annoying, too. But, no, I... I was watching... You dick. Watching some... Call of Duty stuff. Just, like, watching the Pro League stuff. Not that I have any interest in it. But... It was strange watching it because literally they're like oh he's going will he get the toe line oh he's in he's jumping he's leading oh blah, blah. i'm like no just show me what they're doing like shut the fuck up like i also watched a counter-strike one that was pretty awesome because it was like pro teams where literally they're like like false sniping and hitting people they're like just randomly aim and manage to hit people Okay, how do I shoot him? There we go. You spot here. You're a dick. Where are you? He's having a tough time. You're a dick. Ugh. It also doesn't help that you control like an idiot. No, no more times. But yeah, it was just literally just like a non-stop thing. And the worst part is, is I was just kind of like idly watching it on YouTube. And, uh, so it continued on and it ended up being fucking right after a goddamn Titanfall one. And it's first of all, like, I could give a shit less about Titanfall. Second off, it was the most boring thing. They were just, like, jumping on walls, and he's like, oh, he's going around to make the play. Oh, and he's got a Titan. Look at him. He's going. And then it got blown up in a second. It's like, he just couldn't make it. And I was like, stop. Stop this. Video games are nice. And it's nice having competitive, but when you start talking over it and losing all tension of will this guy succeed or not, it's just annoying. And, like, they say stuff that doesn't even make sense. Like, there's one where they basically play basketball in Call of Duty, and it, first of all, that's fucking stupidly stupid. Um. You fucking serious? Now that's yeah, now your planet's getting destroyed. Welcome to destruction. 
See the replay. No. How about you shut your mouth? Here's the setup. Seriously? It just keeps and going? I thought I scored five. Do you love it? What a jam. He's having a tough time. Seriously? Oh, Eat a bowl of dicks. Stop replay. with the replays, Jesus. It's not even that it's not even that exciting. I don't know. But yeah, I just don't get the overwhelming like Oh, he could make it. He could go. He could score. He's about to dunk the ball in Call of Duty. Oh, and their team goes. Like, no. Oh, that was a landmine. He's going to score. And he dropped a landmine right in front of my goal. Dum -dum. I don't know how much more of this I can take. Oh, wow. You blew yourself up with your own landmine, you genius. It's not even like this is necessarily hard. It's just annoying. And it like, feels like it won't end. Why did it curve? Like, so hardcore. It's just... Thank you. That was like the cheesiest thing ever. Uh yawn. Let's check the replay board. It's just launched. What the hell? Don't fire laser beams at me. Seriously? Uh, Let's take a look at that. Here we go again. So, how many goals do I have to score? Like Jesus. It's good. I can't believe it. Launch. Is it like bugs now? Okay, yeah, so that's definitely the win. But I love how they have this whole long announcement thing and then nothing. I mean, I guess if you really have a hard on for Rocket League, but your PC sucks, or you're too poor to afford to play it, then I, I guess this is good. I mean, I guess for PS1 at the time, it's okay. I mean, competitive mode is probably where it's good, but it it's not really like fantastic or anything I don't know could we move on but I think that's just about uh, all of this just a basic sports kind of game so I guess you fight two people wait how did they win a match I'm confused. I'm really confused at how... Seriously? I lost? What the hell? I was scoring goals, like, non-stop. I don't get this game. Either way, it sucks. I mean, I don't really like Rocket League. I know a lot of people who are really obsessed with it, but... I don't like soccer. I don't like sports. Like, if I wanted to play sports, I'd go the fuck outside. Like, ugh. Like, I don't get it. Like, there's enough tournaments and leagues around here that it's, like, insane. They're, they have free rugby leagues. They have... They used to have a hurling league, but it got banned really fast because some people got hurt who weren't playing the game. They have 
like minor league baseball leagues they have like three different levels or four different levels of them around here they have like junior football they have tag football um someone i used to play with used to play flag football but what happens is you throw the ball then you have to get the other person's it's not like flags where you rip the flags off the side they do do that but for tournaments they do like a a capture the flag plus the ball so essentially the person with the ball is like scrambling around trying to avoid people and there's like people trying to capture the flag and you have to essentially score on their side while their flag is uh, either on your side or past like the halfway point or something it was really bizarre so it's like you're blocking people coming in and chasing people out so everybody's kind of running around in a circle it's interesting but boring after a little while and then they have golf leagues there's a a junior wrestling league um wrestling um boxing there's like three or four boxing gyms near here there's martial arts tournaments stuff like like why would you play video game soccer when literally there's tons of tournament places that do it like uh, one of the people I used to work with was in a basketball league, and she would coach part-time, and then she would actually play the rest of the time. It was like a women's league. Like, unacceptable to make sports or video games in this day and age. Like, I get all the coaching simulator and stuff, but just, like, for all that, just just release it on PC and have pay updates. Just build them every month for it. Like, just drop Madden, drop FIFA, all that nonsense. Like, make it subscription and people will get a boner for it. I mean, you just have small updates all the time, and that should be fine. But I'm so sick of like all this like Madden and FIFA nonsense. Like, ugh. I actually used to play a game with someone, and I'm gonna go on a fairly long rant here, but I used to, to play uh, Unreal and some other stuff with someone, and then we started playing like White Knight Chronicles and some other games. Um, that came out and he was always like on the ball with playing them um, he was always kind of like just like a dude and now all he plays is FIFA like literally I think earlier today when I was on he was still playing FIFA and he's been playing FIFA since God knows when so yeah uh, well actually it wasn't today that's a, a lie it was actually quite a while ago I was thinking about someone else is playing FIFA that's what I meant to say but the person that played FIFA all the time, I ended up just booting them as a friend. Because I didn't know them that well, but I played a few games with them. But all they play is FIFA, so goodbye. And uh, one of my other friends is playing FIFA now and playing nonstop. And it's just like, please, stop doing that. But that's all for this. Uh, if you really love Rocket League and you feel like playing something that's like Rocket League but not Rocket League, here you go. Or you only own a potato. But see you later.